Do you sometimes think about how music was maybe a bad idea? Like, is the good music that's out there really worth all the hurt and pain that my ears have gone through due to bad music? Why can't we talk about the... Like, not every person with a guitar ne needs to use it. I had a guitar when I was a teenager. I stopped using it at some point. You know, it's collecting dust right now. As it should be doing. It's safe that way. That way no one gets hurt. Just Pearly Things or Pearl Davis is... Uh, a weird little creep. Pearl Davis is a misogynist who has built a career off of being a woman who regurgitates the most awful talking points that you will see on the worst podcasts ever. The type of alpha male podcasts that will pop up when you scroll on TikTok and uh, will give you like a jump scare. Because you're like, Jesus Christ, someone actually thinks these things? There's like a real human out there? who's holding these beliefs, this is Jesus Christ. If you're scared of hell and really want to know what it's like before you die, the best way of achieving that effect is going on Pearl Davis's Twitter account. Is marriage really marriage if you marry a non-virgin woman? What? What are you talking about? 32... 0.8% said no? What if you marry a non-virgin man? Is it also not a, really a marriage? I'm already seeing some horrible replies under this, so I'm just I'm just gonna click out of this one. Oh, nice. Another horrible sentence. You know what? I don't really want to read this one. I don't want a soundbite of me saying this sentence to be out there on the internet. You can read it. It's a horrible sentence said by a horrible woman. A demonic sentence in my opinion creepy creepy horrible stuff insane that in twitter currently you can just say pedophile shit and not get banned absolutely insane a she seems to actually believe the things that she says b she's a grown woman she's in her late 20s more than responsible for the words that come out of her mouth not only the words that come out of her mouth but also songs. She made this fascinating, fascinating song recently. Aesthetically, it reminds me of a very specific video. It's everything, man. It's the, the feeling of it being unhinged, the instrument, of course, the lighting, just the vibe. This, this The vibe is exactly the same. Is it gonna be as uh, out of pocket as the Colleen one? Or could it maybe, perchance, be even worse. Well, let's find out. Why can't we talk about the without getting kicked off of YouTube? Okay, so first sentence, why can't we talk about them without getting kicked off of YouTube? If I were in a game show right now and someone would ask me or the million dollar question, who is uh, Pearl Davis referring to. It would take me about a millisecond to throw my hand on the buzzer and say, the Jews. Pearl Davis, the misogynist, is probably also anti-Semitic. I think that she's referring to the Jews in, in this context. But you know what? It's Halloween soon, the season of love. I'm gonna give Pearl here the benefit of the doubt and see if maybe she's talking about something else. Now, I'm not saying Hitler was a good guy. No, yeah. Yeah, no, I I think she's talking about the Jews. But again, you know, it's it's Halloween, it's the season of love. She said that he's not a good guy. So so maybe this is gonna head in a good di direction, you know? Now there's all these conspiracy theories. And the more they talk, I think, uh -huh. maybe they're right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's just uh, fascinating how pathetic and also predictable all these people are. The second they fall down this rabbit hole of hating one group, whether it's uh, women, gay people, trans people, that will almost always result in them expressing prejudice against, well, all the other groups they haven't expressed prejudice towards up until this point. Her takes about women or exactly the same ones that Sneeko uh, presents, the guy who got cucked. 
hates and loves cuties. Her takes about Jewish people are the same. She believes the same theories that she does because she's as anti-Semitic as him. But I can't even listen to the convo. I can't even have the conversation. Yeah, because you have- because it's hate speech. Well, the conversation that you want to be having is the exact same one that led to the murder of six million people. Maybe there's a problem with platforming that, you know? You f***ing Nazi. Why can't we talk about the- Without getting kicked off of YouTube? I mean, you got Twitter at the very least. That's like a, a safe haven for Nazis at the moment. She looks so sad, you know? This is such an emotional song for her. She's so upset that she doesn't get to spread uh, anti-Semitic propaganda on every single platform. She can only do it on the one that Elon Musk bought, which is so sad. Pearl Davis is experiencing such a hard time right now. She's gonna cry. I'm not trying to be rude. Why can't we talk about the I didn't say it. God, I... What a smile, you know? She's had a bit of a hard time not being able to spread anti-Semitic propaganda, but now she sang her evil little Nazi heart out and she, she's doing all better. Pearl ended up deleting this video, which is something that's important to stress out. Twitter didn't delete this video, this very clear anti-Semitic propaganda, but Pearl did for whatever reason. She ended up going on Piers Morgan's show. Uh, she never really, like, backtracked from the whole thing, so... So yeah, I don't really care, and I don't intend on watching this whole thing because I hate Piers Morgan as well, and I hate Pearls Davis, and I, I don't want to look at them. I just don't. Uh, feel like looking at their annoying faces. Talking about annoying faces, uh, Pearl Davis has also posted more songs on Twitter. And you know, I listen to music, so uh, why not rank them? They said I can't rap. I did about feminism. Sorry I swore too much. It just flows better. I don't know. From this frame alone, she she can't rap. I'm never gonna assume that Pearl Davis can rap. And even if I'm proven otherwise, I'm still gonna say that she can't rap. Even if I see her rapping, I'll think that it's probably like someone kind of standing in the corner and, and Pearl Davis is mouthing the lyrics as the other person sings them. Everyone said I can't rap. They said, Pearl, stop it. Yes. Many people are saying this, Pearl, stop it. Just stop everything, please. Stick to singing. No, you don't even have to stick to singing. <laughs> you could just not do either of them. It's absolutely fine by me. You're too whatever for this. You suck too much. That's what you <laughs> You're too s sucky at, at all of this. They gave me, number one. Feminism is the worst thing ever. Men and women, they- I've never been proven right about anything quicker in my entire life. They told women we could do better, but then we go off and never. Yeah, we get our money. They told women we can do better, and then we go off and never. Ne never what, Pearl Davis? It's a sh shit bar. Yeah, we dump our high school heartthrob, but then we end up alone on antidepressants. All alone. I just sounds like a very like a personal experience. Pearl Sunol. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Now this is the IOU. Feminism is Oh my god. Another are we are we heading towards another feminism bar? Is she thinking about anything else? Is it just feminism and Jews all day? He's sitting home all day just crying. Oh no, the Jews. The feminists wiping her tears away in an empty home because no one will ever love her as she continues crying about feminism and Jews and dies a lonely death. They said when in Rome, you're a boss babe, you can do it yourself. I, I thought that was a boss baby bar and I was almost excited for a second. Hold on. Hold on. I love when they say that in all my favorite rap songs. I love when Naz came up on Illmatic and was like, Hold on, let me let me think of a bar. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, this is really hard. This is really difficult. Hi. When I talk, these bitches... Wow, this song is like endless. She's in an endless loop of rapping the worst rap song of... Uh, 
ever. Girl, it's not black and white. This is the fight we gotta fight. When God's name is this lunatic even talking about? I'm gonna skip a minute into the song. We will thrive. Let it slide. And that's what they do. No standards too. Is it still about feminism? Is it st is she still talking about feminism? Nothing else happening in your life? When's the last time you've had a good meal? Maybe you rap about the good meal. Ever saw a rainbow and it made you happy? Made you, made, maybe you- did you ever cry like tears of joy? How about you sing about that? You know this shit it ain't true. You know this is what they do. She can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Machine Gun Kelly. I'll give her that much. She made a song for all the crazy ladies. Give some requests. Nope. I request that you stop, please. And this is Off the Dome. It's from the heart. Ah, great. Off the Dome. We're gonna see her freestyling. Oh, here's to the crazy ladies in my DMs. Got these Twitter bitches so mad at them. I like that she adds the little country accent. <laughs> she just wants people to think that she's so like folksy and stuff. She she added the little country accent. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. All these bitches gotta shut up and drive. I don't really care. One, two, three, four, five. All these bitches need to shut up and drive. To where? Your lyrics mean, mean nothing. Just like your whole... I'm not gonna say existence, because uh, I think that might be against YouTube TOS. That's not what I'm gonna say, and it's not what I was gonna say. Let's see some of these requests. Write one for the leftist simps. What is she, if not a simp? Her entire life is simping over the worst humans you could ever imagine. Bravo, you got that 60s vibe going on. That vibe being misogyny. <laughs> Dear God, please stop. Yeah, I, I relate to that one. That's a good comment. If she ever busts out the ukulele, I will have to scream. Uh, subscribe for more ho horrible times.